Hi, this is Akshit. I work as a DevRel at Maxim. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a RAG application uh, using Versal's AI SDK, which is a TypeScript toolkit designed to help developers build AI powered applications and agents. And uh, we are going to use Maxim's observability suite to uh, observe uh, the LLM calls that we are making. And we are also going to explore the simulation. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's go through the project that we have built and uh, in this application we are as I told we are going to build a rag application. So as you can see, I have these two available tools. So my agent has uh, access to these two tools uh, which can be used for adding a new resource to a vector database or getting uh, getting the resource based on the prompt that the user has provided. So I'm using Postgres, uh, PostgreSQL database. So I have two tables, embeddings data, embeddings table and resources table. Uh, and we are also using Drizzle Studios to uh, properly visualize the data that is being added or retrieved. Uh, so uh, I also have the code ready. So once we see the project in action, then we are going to also walk through the code and see how we are using Maxim's uh, integration for Versal AI SDK. So let's start chatting with our uh, application. So I'll say, hey, how are you? I'm here and ready to help you. How can I assist you today? Great. Uh, now I'm going to say uh, my name is Akshit. So it has to decide whether this is a valuable resource to be added in the database or not. I can say I work as DevRel at Maxim. And as you can see, uh, it made a tool call. It the card is flashing and it, it found that this is a valuable resource which can be added in the database. So if I go back to uh, Drizzle Studio and just refresh it, you will see that uh, embedding is added for uh, this line uh, which I added and in the resources also this is added as a resource. So data is getting persisted uh, in our DB. So that is good. Now I can say uh, I can just copy the docs link to Maxim and I can say here are the docs. Here are the docs and I'll just provide this link. Uh, again, the tool got executed and it has added another resource. So this was the first resource. This is the second resource which it found valuable and it added in in the DB. So if I see the Drizzle Studio, if I just refresh it, you can see the second resource is also added and we have the embedding for that. Now let's try to fetch uh, the resources and let's see if it is able to do that correctly. So now I can say I can say where is Akshit currently working at and at what position position and if I just enter it you can see where is Akshit working at uh, and Akshit is currently working as DevRel at Maxim. So it it was able to use this information it, it, uh, it framed a question where is Akshit currently working at and in what position it made a tool call for getting the information right this is the second tool call and in that uh, output in the output of that tool call it got this response and it gave me the perfect information. Now if I go back to Maxim dashboard where I created a log repository ID so you can see Versal AI SDK repo. If you want to create your no own uh, new log repository you can just click on create repository. You can just give it a name let's say sample and if you click on create uh, you can click on JSTS because it's Versal. Uh, you can click on continue and you're going to get your log repo ID which you can add in your environments. I'll just show you where you need to do that. But let's go back to my own repository. So this is the one Versal AI SDK repo. And if I go to the logs, let's go to the sessions. So I created a session just now. So I'll just focus on that session. And you can see uh, the chat that happened between the user and the assistant. It is properly logged over here. Uh, if I just try to open it up, you can see this is the first message. Hey, how are you? I'm here and ready to help you. How can I assist you today? This response where it made a tool call. Akshit is a devil at Maxim uh, and it has to add this information in the DB in the in the vector store. So it made a tool call and added it. Now if I just open the last one where it uh, made a call to get the information, it is giving me the name Akshit is devil at Maxim and similarity is 0.61. So that is good. And this was a final assistant uh, message which was generated based on the tool response. And yes, definitely I can see the output cost, input cost based on the tokens that are consumed, the completion tokens, prompt tokens, total tokens. And I can see the model that is being used, uh, the start timestamp and end timestamp. So using the Maxims integration for Versal AI, you can properly uh, push the logs from the Versal AI based application, Versal AI SDK based application uh, to Maxims log repository.
Now uh, let's uh, go through the code and let's see how we have built this rag application. So this is a simple uh, Next.js application and inside it we have this app folder. We have an API folder and we have the route.ts uh, dot inside chat. So so basically I'm making a call. Uh, this is a call to slash chat and uh, over here I have this uh, route.ts. So first of all, uh, when I send a message to my server, so in the request, I basically have uh, the session ID, the messages list, and then I try to see if my maxim is already initialized or not. So if I just zoom in and show you, so first of all, I'm trying to get the maxim logger. So for one session, I'm maintaining a maxim logger. I'm not recreating it for every post call. So over here, I check uh, if the maxim logger is already there or maxim is already initialized. I return that maxim logger. If not, then I create a new instance of the maxim logger. Uh, I uh, use the API key which is there in my environments. I use the log repo ID which is there in environments. And based on that, I create an instance of the logger and return it to the uh, route. Uh, and over here, I am then wrapping. So this is a single line integration for Vercelli ISDK by maxim, where you use the logger, you provide the model that you want to use. And then you use this wrapper, uh, which is called wrap maxim AI SDK model. And then we use this model instead of the raw model uh, with the stream text or generate text calls, which are, which are being provided by the Versal AI SDK itself. So over here, you uh, define the model, you define the messages list, you define uh, at what uh, number of iteration you want to uh, come out of the loop. So stop when, then you provide the system prompt. And then these are the optional provider options. So if you want to have a unique name uh, for your session, uh, you can provide it. So if I just go back, you can see this is my session name, rad chat and the unique session ID. So you can do it over here. You can provide the session ID, trace name, span name, generation name, uh, the session tags. You can see the tags are also over here. So this is environment development, session ID, version 1.0.0, application is maximum versal rag. And for every span also, you can have the tags. As you can see, this is the endpoint. Uh, if you are having different uh, versions for dev and prod, you can have those uh, endpoints locked over here. Has tools, false, message count, session ID, type is conversation, and user queries, how are you? Okay. Uh, and after that, I am providing the information uh, about the tools, add resource, and get information. These are the two tool calls which I am providing to my agent. Uh, description input schema it takes a content for adding a resource for getting the information it takes the question and based on that it tries to match uh, with the uh, stored embeddings gets the uh, matching embeddings and uh, gives gives it back to the uh, llm and based on those received based on that received context the llm frames the final response which comes back to the client as the assistant message so this is a simple uh, way uh, or a simple uh, application which we have built using Versal's AI SDK and we have integrated Maxim for observability. Uh, Page.tx TSX just contains the basic front end code. The code is spread in the description. In the next video, uh, we are going to see how you can simulate this AI agent um, using Maxim's simulation feature. So, till the next video, all the best for your AI agent.